Hi, I'm Alex Novikov, and I'm a Crow researcher at the University of Arizona. Today, I'm here to guide you through running a Python script that helps with de-identifying student names. This video is part of a series that our team has created to help you build your own corpus. For the whole series, please visit our YouTube channel. This particular script uses regular expressions that match strings that look like names, student IDs, and emails that usually occur before the main body of the text. All right, let's get started. So let's first open the terminal. So type terminal. Uh, let's make this bigger. So now in your terminal, navigate to where you downloaded your Chibata folder, which in my case is in downloads. So let's do CD, which is change directory, downloads, um, and then Chibata. So uh, also um, I use tab for autocomplete. So I just type, you know, CI, I know that's what it's, what the folder name starts with. And then I press tab and it it should autocomplete. Uh, all right, so now I'm inside Chibata. Um, and for this script, um, we need to be inside automatic de-identification folder, which is inside Chibata. So let's do CD again, and automatic de-identification. So now we're in the right uh, place. So before you run the script, uh, check how many files there are in the folder uh, called files with headers, which is inside automatic de-identification. And it's the demo data that we provided with the script. And we want to do this to make sure that it is the same number of files after you run the script. So let's first check if um, files with headers is inside of this folder. So let's do ls. And here we go, we have files with headers, which is your demo data. And then uh, Chibata um, underscore DID.py is the script. So um, uh, let's run the command uh, to count the files. So ls, then files with headers. And then files with headers has um, four um, subfolders. So we'll do this and we want to um, count all the txt files so, and that's the command for counting the number of files so 40 and that's exactly how many files um, we have there and if you run this command on your own data make sure that you indicate the path to your files correctly so this path over here um, so here we're looking um, inside the folder files with headers and four subfolders one two three four um, which are indicated by double asterisks and the single asterisk here um, followed by uh, .txt indicates that we want to count all the files that have the txt extension all right so um, now we're finally ready to run the script. So first, let's make um, sure that you're still inside an uh, automatic de-identification folder, and that's where you need to be. And if so, uh, you're ready to run the script. So um, let's see if the script is still there. So ls, yeah, Chibata, did, okay. So now um, type Python followed by a space, then the name of the script, and again, do a tab to autocomplete. Um, then double dash, which is a flag to indicate directory, then type the word directory, followed by equal sign and the name of the folder that you want to run the script on, which in our case is files with headers. All right, so we are ready to um, run the script. So. Actually, we don't need this um, uh, slash here. So, okay, and so press enter. 
looks like it worked. So now, um, after we've uh, run the script, uh, you should now have a new folder inside automatic de-identification called de-identified. And that's where all the de-identified all the de-identified file files are. So let's see. So we're inside automatic de-identification still. So let's do ls to see if de-identified folder is in there. And indeed, we have a new folder called de-identified. So now we want to check the number of files in the de-identified folder and to see if it's the same number as we started with um, in the files with headers folder. So you're already familiar with the ls command. So we're going to type in de-identified because that's the folder that we're want, we want to look inside. And now instead of the four subfolders, we have five because um, what the script does, it creates this new de-identified folder and puts the files with headers inside of it. So one of the five levels and then txt um, and the same, and the rest is the same. So pipe wc-l and that should hopefully give us the number 40. Yeah, success. So it says 40 files and uh, we're good. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit our website, writecrow.org, to learn more about the corpus and repository of writing, including links to other writing research resources that we've built. Thanks again.